Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. A little bit of a controversial issue in Canada that we're going to discuss today. Should unvaccinated people pay extra for health care? And we're going to try and discuss it from both points of view because it is going to happen in Canada and it is a huge topic of controversy right now. Let's read the news story. Unvaccinated Quebecers will have to pay a health tax. His name is Legault and I am French. So fuck you. Let the baby smoke. <laughs> I always like to approach this stuff with a little bit of comedy, but let's discuss this, guys, because uh, this is um, a, a first in our country. And let me know where you're from, whether this could even be possible. OK, Quebec, the province in our country that has the most draconian COVID restrictions and mandates. Uh, they have a curfew right now. People aren't even allowed to go outside past 10 o'clock in the evening because of the Omicron variant. When we had the Delta variant, they weren't allowed to go outside past 8 o'clock. Uh, so I guess the Omicron variant is not contagious between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock because the, the, their curfew starts at 10 p.m. now. But and let's read this story. Quebec Premier Francois Legault said Tuesday that the province would be imposing a health tax on Quebecers who refused to get their first dose in the coming weeks. Okay? We're looking for a health contribution for adults who refuse to be vaccinated for non-medical reasons, he said. Uh, Legault did not say when the payment would take effect or how much it would cost, but he said uh, he wanted it to be significant enough to act as an incentive to get vaccinated. More than 50 or $100, he added. Legault said details would be revealed in the coming weeks. He said the contribution could be included in people's provincial tax filings, but he did not say whether it would be uh, in those for 2021, uh, which can be filed April 30th, 2022. He goes on to say these people, they put a very important burden on our health care network, Legault said. I think it's reasonable. A majority of the population is asking that there be consequences. Roughly 10% of eligible Quebecers remain unvaccinated, but health officials say they take up about 50% of COVID-19 beds in hospitals. Article goes on and on and on, but let's discuss this a little bit. Of course, there was immediate reaction from some of the other uh, premiers in Canada. The premier of Alberta, Jason Kenney, who has a habit of blurting out his mouth before his brain is allowed to think, uh, rushed out to say that this would never happen in Alberta. But that's not the stupid thing he said. He said, well, what, what next? Are we going to start taxing smokers and drinkers because smoking and drinking is bad for your health? Little did Jason Kenney know that for many, many years, Canada ha is taxing drinking and smoking heavily. If you ever go to a, a, a liquor store or beer store here and you want to buy some, some booze, they cost a fortune because 90% of the price is tax and cigarettes here cost a fortune. The, government's, the government has been taxing uh, things that they deem are bad for you for, for many, many years. And this is the Quebec Premier's perspective. He says, well, smoking is bad for you and that's why a pack of cigarettes cost almost $20 because we know it's bad for you and we want to tax it to uh, give the incentive for people to stop smoking. And so we heavily tax cigarettes. We heavily tax alcohol. We should heavily tax people who don't uh, take their shot because that's also bad for you. That's his perspective. I think the majority of Quebecers are, are in favor. The majority of the rest of the country thinks, are you nuts? And how can you look at it, guys? Like, How can you compare these things it's it's not the same thing but of course people have different points of view uh, the Quebec Premier's point of view is what I just told you but other other points of view are well you, you have a choice whether you smoke or drink and if you choose to you pay um, more tax but you don't go to the store to uh, buy COVID and and so that you it's COVID is bad for you so when you go to the store to buy COVID you're going to get taxed it's not the same thing um you're choosing not to do something and now you're going to get taxed or penalized for not doing it. It would be the same as saying uh, being fat is bad for your health uh, and you can uh, 
you can try and lose weight by joining a gym and doing exercise. If you don't, jo if you choose not to join a gym, we'll tax you. That would be the, the equivalent thing of what Quebec's doing. They're taxing people or penalizing people um, for not doing something that they want them to do. And this is really, uh, I don't think it'll happen in any other province that maybe, maybe in the Atlantic provinces, maybe in Ontario, but out west, uh, this guy would be, he'd, he'd be lynched, right? <laughs> he'd be out on his ass so fast. Uh, and I want to know what you guys think. Um, is it, would it even be possible uh, in your countries to, for something like this to happen? You know, there are those that fight for liberties and freedoms that say this is just another overstep. We've let the governments take inch by inch by inch all our rights and freedoms. Uh, restrictions, mandates, rules, curfews, and now monetarily penalizing you. Is they, they're using a, a health crisis as an excuse to just slowly, slowly increase their power and make us miserable. Um, that, that, that's one point of view. Then there's another point of view that in Canada, we have a universal health care that's paid for by taxpayers. And in our Constitution, we have something called the, the Health Care Act, which guarantees, guarantees that everyone has access to health care and equivalent health care across the country and that nobody can be charged money uh, for health care. Right? And nobody can have health care withheld from them uh, for any reason. And of course, Quebec is getting, a, they would be in violation of the Health Care Act if they did something like, uh, if for instance, they did something like, if you show up at the hospital and you have COVID, but you aren't vaccinated, then you'll have to pay a fee. Some people say, well, why charge everyone that hasn't been vaccinated? Uh, perfectly healthy people that chose not to be vaccinated. There could be like a, take for instance, a, a 26 year old uh, healthy uh, person who decides I'm not getting vaccinated and will never get sick. And if he does get sick, he has a, overwhelmingly high chance of just having a minor uh, infection with COVID, he will get taxed now in Quebec. And some people say, well, uh, it would make more sense uh, if you're going to do this to uh, charge a fee to some people that sh if you show up in the hospital, if you show up in the hospital and you, you need health care, but you haven't got a vaccine, uh, then maybe you should pay a fee. Right? Because you chose not to get the vaccine and now you're now you're in the hospital clogging up the hospital system and there's poor people that uh, need a heart transplant or a hip replacement. Their surgeries are canceled because you didn't get vaccinated and now you're in the hospital. Well, they can't do that because that would contravene our uh, health care act. Everyone is guaranteed a free health care. So they can't draw the line at people entering the a hospital and charging a fee for something. Uh, when people show up at the hospital. So what Quebec has chosen to do is just charge everyone. <laughs> everyone who hasn't been vaxxed. The 10% of people that haven't been vaxxed in their province, they're going to start charging them a tax. And, uh, and if you think about it, guys, who thought, how many of you thought that we, we would be in this situation now uh, with all the rhetoric that we've had since the beginning of the, uh, of the pandemic, uh, you know, the goalpost always just... It's like the carrot, holding a carrot in front of you and you're just chasing the carrot, but the carrot keeps moving. Poor donkeys that we are keep chasing the, the carrot. We, what we've been told, we are at the situation, I'm just speaking of Quebec, where 90%, 90% of the citizens in Quebec have been vaccinated. The vaccines were going to uh, enable us to get back to normal, right? Once we had a, uh, enough of the population vaccinated that we would have pseudo herd immunity. Some people don't like to use that terminology. But once we had enough people vaccinated, we could carry on uh, almost, we would be done, right? Well, in Quebec, they're at 90% vaccinated. And at this point in time, the government chooses to single out the remaining 10% and wants to charge them money for for not getting vaccinated. And it could be, it could be a yearly tax. In Greece, in Greece, they have a similar program now where they, I don't know if they're calling it a tax or a fine or however they're, they're calling it, but they're going to fine people monthly <laughs> if they're not vaccinated. So each month, 
that you're not vaccinated, uh, you, you're going to get fined. Now, governments are always very careful whether they call it a, a tax or a levy or a, a, a payment or a, or a fine because different rules apply depending on what you call it. So Quebec has man managed to finagle their way uh, into thinking that they can do this without being overturned in court. Some people will try to um, uh, challenge this in court, in court saying it, uh, it contravenes the Health Care Act. They probably won't be able to prove that because uh, it doesn't the way they've set it up. Um, it's just, I don't know, guys. It's, uh, you know, you can, you, you can look at it. There's arguments for both sides. There's arguments for both sides. Uh, people can try and spin it however they want. Uh, looking at the big picture, flying at 20,000 feet and looking down at the, at the big picture, the no bullshit answer is, what a complete, total shit show, right? How did we get to this position where I, we already have, um, if you want to fly or travel anywhere, you must be completely uh, vaccinated, two, a minimum two shots and wear masks. If you want to go out anywhere in Canada, anywhere, anywhere is indoors, in it, almost every province, Quebec especially, you have to wear a mask. If you're not vaccinated, you're not allowed in restaurants. We have vaccine passports, right? Uh, you're not allowed in, in gyms and uh, in most indoor um, uh, venues. In, in Quebec, you're not allowed to go to the beer store or liquor store or pot shop. Remember, uh, pot is legal in Canada. You're not allowed to go to the pot shop or, or beer store unless you've got a vaccine passport. We've already got all these rules. And now on top of that, we want to char start charging uh, uh, charging a penalty to people uh, that haven't been taxed. You people in Quebec, like you, your government has just, uh, uh, the, your government is in control of you. And uh, that, that's the uh, opinion of most of the rest of the country. But what's funny, what's funny is that I believe the majority of Quebecers are happy about it. They're happy that the government is in charge of them. And they're happy to hand over uh, these kind of decisions and just say, yes, this is great. And uh, they're, it's, a, it's a very popular thing. For some people, you just can't get your head around, well, how could this be popular? Uh, but it is. So I'm going to ask you uh, your guys' opinion. Let me know in the comment section um, what you guys think. Let me know what you think and let me know if it's possible that this could happen in your country. And where is it going to end? Are we going to... Uh, what's next? What could possibly come after this? <laughs> there will be more. Guaranteed there will be more. But what could possibly come next? And who thought? Who thought a year or a year and a half? Uh, a year or a year and a half ago that a province in my country where 90% of people are vaccinated would be making an announcement like this. Who thought it was possible? I don't know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one.